1984, Apple had a Super Bowl ad that is still regarded at major universities and at ad schools as the most popular and famous television ad of all time. And it shows faceless people that look exactly like MPC memes, gray skin, gray uniforms, all subserviently chanting the same mindless garbage. And today, would Twitter ban the 1984 Apple computer ad? 20 days. 20 days. And the tidal wave of total censorship has gone into insane overdrive. Unbelievable information coming up. Facebook, Twitter, you name it, are banning tens of thousands of pages of anyone that promotes the MPC memes, which simply takes a gray face and puts it over the face of conformist, authoritarian, leftist thinkers. In THX 1138, it's really a uh, remake of the idea of a uh, brave new world, a scientific dictatorship, uh, they resemble MPC memes. In the famous 10 Minutes of Hate from 1984, they wear gray uniforms and most people have shaved heads to be conformist. I mean, in every archetype, th this is the image that's used of cults, of controlled populations, of prisoners, of brainwashing, of POWs. And now they're trying to ban it everywhere. In 1984, Apple had a Super Bowl ad that is still regarded at major universities and at ad schools as the most popular and famous television ad of all time. And it shows faceless people that look exactly like MPC memes, gray skin, gray uniforms, all subserviently chanting the same mindless garbage. And today, would Twitter ban the 1984 Apple computer ad with the image of the goddess alive with her blonde hair and her red shorts and her white shirt and her full breast bringing life back to the internet, bringing life uh, to the PC tyranny. But now you have the Apple tyranny. You have the Google tyranny. And they have become what they claimed they were fighting. Oh, then they were revolutionaries in 1984. Steve Jobs saw the parallel of the authoritarian 1984 and the 10 minutes of hate, and the PC dictatorship of international business machines, and Bill Gates. And he came, and he smashed it, only to become something far worse than he'd said. But if you look at the MPC memes, if you're a radio listener, TV listener, haven't seen them, that they're up on Infowars.com, there's something very telling. They've gone from just a few months ago denying that they were censoring conservatives and libertarians and anything successful, anything viral, by calling it Nazi, or calling it homophobic and they never even show what it was they said was homophobic as if you don't have free speech to be homophobic but they would lie and say you were when you weren't new york times admits memes are tools of influence as twitter drops ban hammer and then it shows the new york times screenshot what is an mpc the pro-trump internet new favorite insult twitter has barred hundreds of right-wing accounts it's thousands now for posting soulless non-playable liberal activities so if you make fun of the tyranny of the censors, the tyranny of the colleges, the tyranny of the thought police, which is completely admitted, the New York Times says, we're banning you, and, and, they, and they praise Twitter and others for banning people's accounts because they simply post joke memes, calling it dehumanization. Isn't that total inversion? Isn't that rich? The, the NPC meme is showing the dehumanization like the book 1984 or the movie 1984, or the movie THX 1138, or the Apple commercial in 1984. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Think about the unbelievable irony of these authoritarians. But I'm here to tell you, any symbol that people seize on to stay no to tyranny is banned in China, like saying their dictator president is Winnie the Pooh. That's banned. Or MOGs of the Taiwanese flag are banned. Flags of Tibet are banned. And why not ban NPCs in America? Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification directives we have created for the first time in all history. A garden of pure ideology where each worker may bloom, secure from the pests of being contradictory. is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people, with one will, one 
is on one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death, and we will bury them with their own confusion. We shall prevail. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. You're a white male! You're a white man! You're a white man. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Guaranteeing your food independence is a crucial part of prepping. Between debt crisis, natural disasters, or even simple power outages, having a supply of storable meals is crucial. With InfoWars Life Select Storable Food, you can make sure you and your family are ready for any emergency. With drinks, snacks, and meals in amounts ranging from 72 hours to a full year, there's no better place to look for healthy, easy, and incredible meals. Including meals such as traveler stew, homestyle potato soup, and a variety of other meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, InfoWars Life Select Storable Food will help you eat comfortably in a time of need. They even work great for camping. Simply pack a 72-hour kit to go and you have easy to cook and transport food for you and your loved one's trip. Don't be caught surprised by an emergency. Make sure you're stocked up today with all the food you need for an affordable price with InfoWars Life Select Storable Foods.